Water Community Schools. What you see before you is a national coalition of community and labor groups called the Alliance to Reclaim Our Schools. And it says that you don't have to reinvent the wheel for sustainable community schools. And so you all will get a handout and it says that community schools, critical elements of sustainable community schools are curriculum that is engaging, critically relevant and challenging, high quality teaching, no high stakes testing, park the park, walk around, support, wrap around supports, positive discipline practice such as restorative justice, transformational parent and community engagement. Our next speaker is Jesse Sharks from the Chicago Teachers Union. All right, Jesse. Sisters and brothers, um, our schools in Chicago are starved for funds. Um, we have seen in the last four years the layoff of over 3,500 school personnel, people who do critical things, deliver services, keep our schools running. We have seen that even in our most disadvantaged disadvantaged neighborhoods, even in our neighborhoods that have the most needs. We've seen schools that lack basic wraparound services, that lack staff to do things like run extra help programs, after school programs. We see the elimination of freshman and sophomore sports programs in many community schools. Um, we see need after need that's gone neglected. At the same time that our schools are being underserved, we saw the Board of Education with a banker at the head make financial deals that gave our schools four to three million dollars in short-term cash up front. But out of the back door, we saw bankers make off like backdoor bandits, taking over 400 million dollars in returns on those auction rate swap deals. And that, that, sisters and brothers, amounts to highway robbery, in which the bankers make out like bandits and it's our students who pay. And that has to stop. We need political leadership in this city that demands that money back. We want a rebate on that money. And in fact, this isn't just us talking. There's actually something that we can do about it. We have here a, uh, uh, an application to file for arbitration under the rules of this government, which the mayor of the city could sign. I made a simplified form for him. Here it is. The mayor of the, 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 mayor of the city could sign this form that could rebate the city hundreds of millions of dollars to the schools that we need to build. You could make real investments that would change the lives of students in 50 community schools. That's right. That's right. That, would provide, that would provide staffing that we need to make sure the students are succeeding. Yeah, that's right. That would provide wraparound services to make sure that students have their, some of their basic human needs looked after. Yes. That would, that would stop the layoffs and other destructive practices. Sign it, Mayor. Ask your banker friends. If, this is, if you can be such a tough political dealer, do the, do the real tough thing. Yeah, Ask right. the people with power and money who have given so much to your campaign. Ask them to rebate some of the ill-gotten gains that they've made. Come on. All right. And so it's hilarious to me that we've lost all this money, but my son is autistic, and he, was, he receives his speech therapy under the state. It's so overcrowded in Mollison that the kids sometimes have to eat lunch in their classrooms. So we have the money, it's just about priority. So the mayor is telling me and the rest of the city that my child is not a priority. That's not the, that's not the type of city I want to see it in. It's bad when people have to chain themselves around that statue in order to give us a quality neighborhood high school in my own neighborhood. It's something he can do about it, what he refused to. We need to use our voices and vote him out of this seat. Yes. Yes. Our next speaker is Jose Cabarado from Community United. All right, Jose. Good morning, my name is Jose Caraballo. I come in from uh, Community United. I soy parte de los de, de los padres que tienen niños en la Hanson Park y yo creo que nosotros nos merecemos un mejor trato merecemos que ese esos dios que ellos hicieron mal hecho se trate de recuperar parte de ese dinero para que vengan a la, nuestras escuelas para que nuestros niños sean menos cantidad en un salón de clase debe ser 30 que sean 18 o 20 no 30 porque un maestro no puede atender a tantos niños okay en un salón de clase son demasiados so José Carballo es uh... 
a, par a, a leader from Communities United, and he's also a parent in Hanson Park. And he's here because he believes that the, the mayor should try to get some of that money back from these bad deals with the banks and invest that money in community schools. Schools like Hanson Park that need, uh, uh, ease, uh, need help to ease overcrowding. You know, yeah. he feels that it's, it is impossible for teachers to be able to teach our children when they are over, they have overcrowded classrooms. Right. You know, it is not, it is, it is not right that, you know, in a classroom they have to have over 30 students in one classroom. También queremos que atiendan mejor a nuestras escuelas como la limpieza en Hanson Park. Hanson Park salió en televisión hace poco producto a que había mala limpieza en la escuela. Eso afecta a nuestros niños también. Y nosotros queremos ver que, la, que nos den un anexo en Hanson Park para que haya, menos, haya más salón de, uh, de clase y menos niños por salón de clase. Es todo lo que yo quería decirle. Muchas gracias. Espero que de verdad nos ayuden de corazón. Nos ayuden con esto. Mm -hmm. So what are the things that this is the, another another example of the shady deals, right? Recently, the what because his school was in the news because it was one of the many schools that were not being cleaned uh, again through you know the, the shady deals that you know they keep doing with you know private firms. Uh, so he hopes that the mayor does the right thing and signs this and. Uh, demands that the banks pay us back and use that money to invest in schools like Hanson Park that are in need of an annex to ease overcrowding. Thank you. Yeah.